Raven, 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 guess what day it is? Guess what day it is? Saturday, bitches! What you doing, baby? You good? Look, she's like, she's not having it, boys and girls. She's like, don't touch me. I'm comfortable. Don't whine, you big baby. My dog is beyond spoiled, but let's get out to the garage here and start working on what we like to do, which is cars. All right, guys, so back in the garage, per usual, drinking a Coke Keystone, but right now we are about to bench bleed my master cylinder here um this is off a 96 land cruiser which is slightly bigger bore um most people use a forerunner unfortunately my local AutoZone and advanced auto did not carry the forerunner style um and we just started going through it this is off a v8 land cruiser from 1996 uses the same exact bolt pattern same exact layout so i mean i don't have to bend any brake lines or do anything uh but this has a one inch bore versus i think that's a three quarter inch bore so this will give me a better brake feel um over what the stock master cylinder would have gave me i also need to finish taking off the lip stripping down the bumper here too um there also has some like little black coverings so let me show you that if you see there, see like these little black covers, they are actually like plastic snap-on covers. Um, I just need to pop all those off, take the front lip off, go ahead and remove this badge. I want to have it all completely stripped, so all he has to do is scuff this thing down, uh, prep it for paint, and go. I want to make this as easy as possible for him, as Beaver Travis takes very good care of me. Um, so if he's going to do all that for me, I'm going to try to make it as easy as possible. But I took the old girl out last night, guys. I wish you could have been along. It's too dark to see anything, but I uh, took her out last night to try and enjoy it a little bit. Running into an issue, I think I have a broken motor mount or some kind of mount is broken. Uh, when I do take off in the car, it tends to almost, sh not shudder, but I feel like everything's moving. Like you can feel like the engine moving or the rear end's moving and stuff, and that's with solid mounts in the rear. Uh, so I'm gonna jack it up here once I get another extra set of stands because the MR2 is on the one set right now. Uh, I'm going to put it up on stands here, check the motor mounts, check all the bolts, check the uh, trans mount, and see why it's moving so much. The trans mount's brand new, so I'm hoping that's not messed up. Uh, the motor mounts are old, old. They're 25 years old, so they could be broken. And the rear end, I don't know. I'd want to make sure maybe the bolts came loose, because since it's solid on solid, maybe they wiggled loose, you know, vibration undid them. I don't know, so I do need to get this car up yet today and check all that. Uh, it also needs a bath. I've been driving it a ton ever since I got it back from TLC Auto Detail. Um, the car looks fantastic, so I've been enjoying it, but I'm looking forward to washing it. Um, one thing I just wish I had is, my builder would not let me put a drain in here. EPA can suck a dick because of them. You're not allowed to put them in, or if you try to put them in, it's just a nightmare because they think you're gonna dump oil down them, blah, 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 blah. So to get a drain in your garage is really a pain in the ass nowadays. So kind of sucks here in Pennsylvania, but it is what it is. So here's the thing. Here's the one problem, you guys. I want to drive this today, you know, get some more testing, but let's go ahead and open the old door here. See this stuff? Can you guys see this? Yeah, it's snowing. I'm not sure if that, that can even show up on camera, but yeah, it's definitely definitely snowing so car season's coming to an end here in pennsylvania um i do not like to drive my cars in the snow especially here because we put down what's called cinders if you don't know what cinders are it's pretty much mashed up rocks they throw over the road to give you better grip how i have no idea um but they do that and it destroys your front end of your car which this being painted and coated now i don't want that happening um they also salt the roads which corrode the car and kills the under chassis so Kind of sucks. I pretty much can't get the cars out now. Maybe the MR2 I will, but the Super won't be going out anymore. Um, unless we get a good rain to wash everything off. Um, and even still then, there's still cinders on the road until the street sweepers come by and remove them. Kind of puts us in a predicament. So I have the brake master cylinder up here now. I went ahead and put dot four fluid in it here. Now, just an FYI, Toyota recommends dot three or above. So the car originally had dot three fluid used in it. You, once you use or go up and you say dot four, dot five, et cetera, you cannot go back. So I'll be using dot four here and I'll be using dot four throughout the entire car. But what I'm doing right now is bench bleeding it. I'm fortunate enough that this new master cylinder actually came with its own little kit where it came with the fittings and the lines. Uh, what you do is you take these lines, put them in the top, and you're literally burping the system. So there's air down the actual cylinder here, and we're burping that system pre ahead of time so we can get all the air out of it, and we're not trying to force that air through the brake system in the actual car. Now, you can do it that way and force it through the car, but it's going to take a ton of fluid and a lot more time and it just, who wants to do that? I mean, I know I don't, and I'm trying to show you guys that this is a much easier way of going about it. So might as well do it this way. Um, what I'm gonna do here is take my 
little handy dandy screwdriver here and insert it in the hole. Now, when you do this, please be very, very careful. You don't want it to slip left or right and damage the actual cylinder itself because it actually has a rubber fitting in there. You do not want to damage it. So if you're doing this, I would prefer you had something with a round edge, not a sharp edge like this. Uh, I unfortunately do not. They actually make an actual tool for this that I do not own. So sadly, I'm going to be using this and hoping for the best. So that's what we're going to do here. Let's go ahead and set this up and start bench bleeding. Now it's probably going to be hard for you guys to see here, but what you're doing is you're literally trying to air out the system here. So there's still some little bit of bubbles left in here, not much, but we got one little, two little bubbles in here. We want to try to get this flushed out as much as possible. So you're literally trying to take out all the air that's in the cylinder here, flushing it back up in. You're just recirculating the fluid because obviously it's not bad. So we're just taking it, recirculating the fluid. Once you've done this, you can actually remove these fittings and it won't hurt anything um, because they obviously want you to cut these off. Now it would be a few little drops, but you'll remove these fittings and you'll be good to go. You can go ahead and bolt it up and uh, that'll be it. This is pretty, pretty simple for you guys. So the only thing that sucks is there's still fluid in it here. Um, I'm gonna have to take this like that, let it drain out. There we go, like that one there. So sweet. So only thing we have to do here is remove these fittings now and we'll be good to go. Pretty simple. So it's bolted up and I wanna bleed the, bleh, bleh, bleed the brakes on the rest of the car here. And uh, I wanna get it down on solid ground again. That's my biggest thing. I wish I had coilovers, but Money, money, money. Uh, it's part of the game. So anyone want to send me some coilovers? I actually found some on eBay. They were bright pink. They're like 630 bucks. But I'm like, actually, the spring rates are actually pretty good on the two. They were higher spring rates, which I would have been looking for. Um, but I'm not sure if I trust them. And I know BC already sends you the correct uh, end links that you need. So I think BC Racing, honestly, is the best bang for the buck. I think I can get them at my cost. I think it's like 750 bucks. So can't really beat that. All right guys, so we got the rest of the stuff cleaned up here. I went ahead and took off the kit, I guess you would call it here, and got the master cylinder on. Uh, thanks to the help of my dad here, we got the master cylinder on. The, again, this is from a 96 Land Cruiser here. Uh, my dad's here right now trying to help me out. Um, so yeah, this is all bolted on, but my dad, I wanted him to see the car too. Do you think it looks good, dad? What do you think? Yeah, it looks really good. Come out, come out very well and stuff. You know, the, uh, where you used to be able to see like swirl marks or something in the car, you can't, you can't see any, like when we used to wax them in the old days and have swirl marks stuff, that thing's just as, as smooth as glass. Yeah, you can't tell it at all. Which is cool to hear from him because like I'm like so happy with the way the car looks right now. And it's funny, my dad was telling me there a little while ago, like you used to take it down to like the river and wash your cars and like, well, I'll let him talk here about it. Oh, sure we did. That's, that's what you had to do. You take it along the, take it along a stream and you would bucket wash your car from a, from a stream. That's just how you did it. My dad would do it all the time that way. Could you guys imagine me taking my car down to a stream going, oh, I'll just take the bucket to it and you dish soap. Oh yeah. Well, you and us kids were actually swimming in the stream while Dad was washing his car. Yeah. <laughs> that's the way they. That's the way we. Oh, did the it. everyone now bacteria. You can't do that. That's horrible. And I mean, yeah. the EPA. If you would get caught doing that now, oh, I mean, you'd, you'd get hung by the horse. I mean, I guess you would hung at the stadium or whatever it's called. But yeah. Yeah, you could never do something like that now. No. So it's funny hearing my dad talk about this. But the car does look good. I'm happy to get the brake master cylinder on. I need to bleed the brakes yet. Um, I did get the clips off the front bumper, so that's all done now, but yeah, so just a little bit more to do here yet today, and I should be done. So the brakes are bled now. Uh, thanks for the help here, man. Look, I got people over, guys. It's kind of nice. Alex here, we're going to go test drive his ISF here shortly, but right now, Blake's, Blake's, uh, brakes are all good. Um, yeah, uh, Land Cruiser, 96 Land Cruiser V8. Um, yeah, blocked me about half out of it. All right, guys, so the brakes are bred now. Will Woods are on. Uh, 96 Land Cruiser Master Cylinder is what we had to use for that. That's one from AutoZone. Thanks very much. Uh, Alex here, too. So what we're going to do here next is, well, I guess we're going to go test drive his ISF. Um, there's not much else to do today, but go have fun. <laughs> 